save waters. This commitment is emphatic and unambiguous. Kenya's national development blueprint is categorical that the shared prosperity we must pursue has to be attained in a clean and secure environment. The preamble to our constitution has made it clear that a shared consciousness of our respect for the environment is our heritage and collective determination to sustain it for the benefit of future generations. For this reason, the right of every person to a clean and healthy environment is affirmed. Article 42 of our Constitution gives the right to protect the environment for the benefit of the present and future generations and also to have environmental obligations. A few weeks ago, I presided over the commencement of activities to restore the Ngong Forest Complex, which is the source of many rivers that form the Nairobi Rivers Basin. Our national program to plant 15 billion trees by 2032 will restore many river sources and catchment areas. The work we are inaugurating today advances this restoration and rehabilitation agenda so that the water flowing in our rivers may begin to support a profusion of aquatic life again. This portion of the cleaning and greening campaign is of special personal significance to me. My research project for my master's degree documented significant changes in water quality due to pollution of the wetlands in Nairobi National Park. I therefore recommended conservation measures to bring pollution under control in my thesis. A number of stakeholders have worked hard over the years to do precisely this work. From 2000, UNEP undertook the Nairobi River Basin project. In 2019, UNEP again collaborated with the Rotary Club under the Adopt a River initiative, which is still going on. Likewise, the UN Habitat, in collaboration with the government, undertook the Nairobi River Regeneration Initiative. Finally, the National Environmental Management Authority has been implementing the Upland Rivers Regeneration Program since 2019. Despite this commendable work, the Nairobi River Basin Ecosystem has not regenerated sufficiently to sustain aquatic life, and much work remains to be done to turn murky streams into rivers of cool water. The Nairobi Rivers Commission represents a fresh, resolute, and substantive effort to supplement, complement, catalyze, and accelerate all previous efforts to enable Nairobi Nairobi Liba to the promise of its name and recapture from various multi-stakeholder groups. And I want to ask uh, my deputy to include representatives from the county of Machakos and the county of Makueni so that they too can make input into this great program, either as co-opted members or members in whatever other form to make sure that this project is cross-county, as uh, the governor has said earlier. The commission also has an advisory group made up of UN Habitat, UNEP, World Resources Institute, development partners, and private sector organizations. With this new impetus, the aspiration to make Nairobi Rivers Basin viable and the water clean is virtually guaranteed to happen very rapidly. The people of Nairobi are finally able to give themselves, hopefully, clean rivers. 
And I want to uh, commend my deputy who has been on top of this program.